And welcome back to the show. In a span of three months, Dagny Knutson went from small town girl to one of the biggest names in American swimming. In November, at the North Dakota State Championships, she broke the national high school records in the 100 and 200 freestyles and set the national public school record in the 500 free. Then she broke the American record in the 400 IM at December's Nationals. Then, at the Junior Pan Pack Championships in January, Knutson won seven golds and one bronze setting meet records in seven events. And guiding her all the way through it has been her personal coach, Kathy Aspis, and both of them join us right now on Skype from the Magic City campus of Minot High School. Ladies, welcome to the Morning Swim Show. How are you doing? Good, Kathy, uh, excuse me, uh, Dagny, what class did we pull you out of today? I'm in Literature of America right now. <laughs> okay, well you can thank us later then. Yeah. <laughs> um, ladies, you know, you come from a small town, and I say this with no big city condescension, but tell us about you know, how you train and, and uh, what it's like with you two in practice up there. Um, well, it used to be pretty much one-on-one -on -one with Kathy and I um, for quite a long time. And so we're kind of in the process of getting other kids to swim with us and starting um, our own club. And um, I'm still doing what I've always been doing, training hard. So it's been fun so far. Now, Kathy, you, you told me that the pool is a it's a 25 yard pool that it's right there at the high school. That's right. I teach physical education here at Minot High School and um, teach a lot of the swimming classes and things like that. And so um, it's just like being at home. She doesn't have to get in the car and drive any place unless we're uh, if we don't have pool availability here at the high school, then we head on over to the the university pool, and that's about two and a half miles away. Now this is all short course training, correct? Because uh, you told me the only long course pool in town is actually outdoors and we know in North Dakota there's not too much outdoor swimming. That's correct. We have an L-shaped pool and so the majority of the time we're set up in short course yards. Um, we can take out the lane ropes and we made some homemade extensions to end up going 29 meters and uh, so we get a little bit of overtraining if we take the lane ropes out and go short course meters 29 meters so with that being said how do you prepare Dagny for the challenge of being one of the greatest long course swimmers in America because right now she's certainly at that short course level but how do you get her to that long course level um, I think just uh, being aware of the splits that she needs to swim and then uh, trying to do as much as we can going 75 yards or 125 yards instead of 50 meters or 100 um, meters. So we just kind of adjust the yards and she's just in such good fitness condition that uh, the adjustment isn't all that difficult. Dagny, do you, do you get nervous at long course meets? Um, I used to. I think it doesn't affect me now as much as it used to to go to a long course meet after swimming short course for so long. Um, so for some reason, I guess, the overtraining doing 75s and 125s have helped me um, adjust a lot better to long course. Uh, what is the plan for the future for you ladies? Because it's, it's happened in the past where when you have a really tight bond with your club coach that um, sometimes you're, you're afraid to break that up and leave where you're comfortable with. Dagny, do you, do you want to swim in college, or do you think you might stay there? Yeah. Um, I get asked this all the time, and I don't know as of right now. I'm going to wait till after nationals and hopefully world championships to see what my options are and what I feel most comfortable with. But I do think that I have that special relationship with Kathy and also my dry land trainer, Jason. And... So I'm just going to take it day by day until after the end of the summer's over. And Kathy, what's that like for you, knowing that um, you know, you're basically driving a Ferrari with Dagny as your top swimmer, um, you know, and you, you want to keep that connection and what's best for her, but knowing that there are other things out there that she might be interested in? You know, I think all, all in all, we have to take a look at what is best for Dagny, and um, if, she, if she can continue to train here and um, if, if she feels comfortable with that I'm more than uh, open to that option um, but we have to be realistic as well and um, you know she's just got 
lots of opportunities out there to take a look at, and she's just keeping the doors open to all those opportunities. Well, I think that's a smart move. Dagny, would you, you know, if you swam great at world championships, would you consider just turning pro like, like Katie Hoff did, for example? Um, I would consider it if that was an option for me. Um, I'm just, I would just have to weigh out my options and just see what is the best for me. All right, so what's the plan of attack for this summer? What do you plan to swim at World Champ Trials to give you the best chance, long course, to put you on that team? I think my probably my best shot is the 200 free. I think it's probably my favorite or one of my favorite events. Um, but I think I'll also be swimming both the 200 and 400 IM, the 100 free, and possibly the 400 free. Now, Kathy, how do you... How do you formulate what the plan is? Because, you know, do you look at it, hey, the more events, the, the more chances, or do you say, well, we don't want to get you tired out? Um, I think we'll take uh, all her pre-meets into consideration. Going to Charlotte, we'll be in Charlotte uh, in a couple days, and um, then she's going to be heading out to California for um, the Santa Clara meet and then to Indianapolis. And, and you know, with those couple meets, uh, we'll just be looking at, how she's seated, how she's swimming, um, what the plan is, you know, what each day's meet uh, schedule is like to see if she'd be overloaded too much. And, you know, once we t lay out all that information, I think it'll help us, you know, come up with a, a better plan or a more clear plan of what events to swim. Hey, Dag we're not I'm sorry, Dagny, you burst onto the scene so quickly, really. Uh, what was it like after you really became one of the top swimmers and then started going to the meets with the other big names, the, the Katie Hoffs and Julia Smiths and stuff like that? Did they, did they say anything to you? Did they look at you like, oh, you know, she's the new girl trying to take our spots? I mean, what was that like for you? Um, well, I guess looking back at short course nationals and the girls that I swam against there, they were all friendly right from the beginning and, you know, telling me good job and stuff. And, um... I think now I get to know them well enough, and it's fun to, you know, get to know those elite athletes um, rather than looking at them as, you know, celebrities or whatever. How I used to look at, look at them like, and um, so everyone's real friendly to me, and it's it's been great. And Kathy, as a coach and sort of a motherly figure, I imagine spending that much time together. So how do you uh, how do you keep Dagny in check? You know, make sure that uh, she doesn't get too big for her britches. <laughs> um, I think my role in uh, the, the whole situation is just to keep it in perspective and keep letting her know that uh, she's doing fine. She's very hard on herself as far as uh, feeling like, you know, her times aren't, you know, good enough in practice or that she's not giving it her best. And, you know, we just have to, you know, keep it all out there for her so that she can understand that, uh she is working as hard as I've ever seen anybody work. And um, when we went to Chula Vista to the training camp there, her level of training, you know, was very apparent in just how she was able to keep right up with the so-called big dogs. And uh, it was a lot of fun. And she was, um, you know, exposed to that national level training. And, and I think all of that's been very helpful. Kathy, do you find yourself... Uh, because you now are training one of the best athletes in the country, but because you're you know, in a small town with limited resources, do you find yourself reaching out to more coaches more than you used to, trying to find out ways that you can ensure that Dagny's getting the best possible training? I think since uh, Dagny's come on the scene this way, USA Swimming has been very, very supportive of us, and uh, they've been willing to come up to North Dakota to not only see what we're doing here, but also to um, make sure that we know that they're available for any questions that we have or any evaluations that we want done. Um, I just can't say enough of the support that they've given us, and, and it's been great. Dagny, have you started practicing your Italian for the summer yet? <laughs> uh, I'll probably have to brush up on that still. <laughs> well, you, take, you have to take a foreign language class there, right? Yes, I take German. Okay, German. Well, there's probably not too many yeah. people speaking <laughs> Italian, or German for that matter, walking around Minot, North Dakota, but I don't know. I've never been there. 
We'll brush up on it real quick, though. Okay. Dagna, will you invite the Morning Swim Show up there to do a, a, live, a live show and, and follow you around? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Dagny, thank you so much for coming on the show. Kathy, we appreciate the time. Dagny, we'll let you get back to class. Thanks. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Those are the ladies from Minot, North Dakota, joining us here on the Morning Swim Show. Great stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. You can read more about Dagny's performances at Panpacks, by the way, as well as a great idea on how Kathy trains Dagny in our April issue of Swimming World magazine. And that is our show for today. Join us tomorrow, please, for a conversation with Courtney Sheely Hart, the new head coach at Georgia Tech Swimming. And we'll also talk with master swimming legend Carlin Pipes Nielsen. Until then, if you want to contact us, you can send us an email at mail at morningswimshow.com or just call us at 1-800-345-7946. I'm Peter Bush. Thank you for watching, and we'll leave you today with a look inside the May issue of Swimming World magazine.